Now, if you are someone who spends a lot of your time scrubbing through footage trying to find the specific part where this character says this thing, today's video is for you. I'm going to show you how you can import your footage to our platform Imaginario AI and search for any dialogue seamlessly, create clips, and then export them. Let's go. So our adventure begins, as always, in your Imaginario AI dashboard. Now, quick reminder, if you want the speech within your videos to be indexed, you have to make sure this is clicked when you import the video. Otherwise, the speech will not be indexed, and therefore it will not be searchable. So we're going to head over to the search group because that's where the searching happens. Now, in the hamburger menu here, you'll see you have options of different things to search for. You can do sounds, you can do speech, or you can do visuals. Obviously, we're searching for speech today, so we'll keep that ticked. You can also adjust how many recommendations you would like, how many search results, and the length of the clip that you would like to receive. So those settings look good to me. So let's go ahead and search for some dialogue. Maybe let's search for artificial intelligence. Let's keep it a little bit meta. And let's see what dialogue our system is able to find. So here you can see the results beginning to populate. And we can check out some of these results to see what dialogue the system has returned. Now, as a reminder, by default, your searches are across your entire video library, but if you have a collection or a folder and you only want to search within there, that's possible too. But for the purposes of the demo, we're searching everything. So let's check this clip out. Hello everyone, and welcome to Wide Lens, your new source for insights into the future of AI and media. Now, interesting thing that you know is that Jose didn't actually say the term artificial intelligence there. That's because this is a semantic search system. It's not just looking for exact matches, it's looking for close matches as well. So where he said AI, our system understood that that is artificial intelligence, so hence it returned that result. And similar with this clip from the BBC. Because we understand games, and after all, the rules are well known. But it's only an... So another great use case for our dialogue search is if you want to find clips on a specific topic and then you want to repurpose them for social media. So... Uh, let's just adjust the clip settings here to make them a little more social media friendly. And let's search for another a hot topic. Let's say ChatGPT. ChatGPT is always in the news. Um, and let's see what clips we get back. Okay, so that's why we haven't released it to the world yet. What we want to do is then not just have a chat-based interface, right? Like ChatGPT. We believe that's one part of the user experience. But we also think that you should... Cool, so that's quite a good clip. Uh, you can see that Jose specifically mentioned ChatGPT there. So let's take a look at another one. They pivot your life and your lifestyle and you're like, okay, I'm powerful now. No machine can act out outside of their data sets. If you don't believe me, ask ChatGPT. Now, one thing you notice is happening here is the system isn't jumping directly to the part where the person says ChatGPT. That's because we want to give you the context surrounding what they're saying so that you can create those standalone clips. So now, if I want to make a clip of this first one of Jose, I can click the scissors icon. That's going to take me straight into Clip Studio. Now, from here, you can do a little bit of further editing. You can extend it or shorten it. You can change the aspect ratio. Maybe you want a portrait for TikTok. Okay. So that's why we haven't released it to the world yet. What we want to do is then not just have a chat based. Interview. Okay, that's looking good. So from here, I can save the clip. I can also export the file directly, or I can export it for Adobe Premiere if I want to do some further editing. Now, next, we're going to head to our discovery tab. So this is where you want dialogue, but you're not entirely sure exactly what was said, but maybe you want to look at certain themes or topics. So this tab is going to help you discover those, hence the name. So we're going to choose a couple of videos here, and then I'm going to head over to the topics tab. And what this is going to do is it's going to analyze the dialogue within those videos, and it's going to give you the topics that are contained within them. Now, this is super useful for thematic content. Say, for example, you wanted to identify a whole bunch of clips that you could put on your Instagram for Mother's Day. You can come here and you can discover all of the clips on that topic and it's going to arrange them for you in an interface exactly like this. So here I've got five clips on my chosen topic. Now, you'll notice in this interface, the clips are all different lengths as opposed to a fixed length. That's because the system is going to try to give you those fully formed thoughts that you can export as clips directly rather than having to edit further. So that's super, super handy. And another super, super handy thing is this topic blender. What this toggle does is it's going to identify themes that are existing across all of the videos that you've selected. So let's say you just got back from a conference. You have all of the footage of different panels and things like that. You want all of the clips where people are talking about the evolution of artificial intelligence. You can choose that option. It's going to assemble all of those clips for you across all of the videos that you've selected, uh, which is super, super handy. It's such a time saver. And then from this screen, what you can do is choose the individual videos by toggling the tick box in the top corner. You can then add them to a collection within Imaginario. 
and then you can export that collection as an Adobe Premiere or DaVinci Resolve timeline. So that's going to give you a rough cut of your conference coverage in about 30 seconds, which I cannot tell you how much time it saves us. So anyway, that's been an introduction to how to search for dialogue in various different ways within Imaginario. I hope that was useful. As always, we very much appreciate your feedback. So if there's any features you'd like to see, please do let us know. And in the meantime, happy searching.